Hey, what's going on guys? Ace here. Today we're going to be going over one of my favorite things in After Effects, and that's expressions. Uh, expressions are scripts that you can place onto your keyframes to make them come to life a little bit more. As you can see here, all I did was scale my logo and add this inertia balance expression, and it makes the um, animation come to life a little bit more. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this example, and I'm also going to show you guys this one here, which is inertia balance and um, bounce back. So these are pretty simple things that you can be really, really creative with. So I'm going to go over in detail how to adjust your settings and how to apply these correctly. And you guys can take off and be creative. OK, so let's get started off with this more simple example, which is just scaling my logo. So I'm going to select the layer, press S, and then I'm going to move this keyframe down about here and then scale it down. I'm going to go all the way to zero. OK, so now we have this, which is extremely boring. So I'm actually going to scoot this keyframe over just a little bit. So all you do from here is you alt click the stopwatch and then it opens up this expression window. So I'm going to drag this down so you can see when I add the expression in. Um, so all I'm going to do is go over to my um, inertia balance expression. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can get this expression as well. And then copy it and paste and then click off and your expression is now applied. Um, so that looks okay. If you want to adjust how the um, the bounce happens, what you do is go, you let me stop this playing. What you do is you go down to um, these values right here: your amplitude, frequency, and decay. Your decay will affect how long the bounce happens. So a smaller number. I'm gonna change it to four so you can see what happens. So decay will make the bounce happen longer if you turn turn the number down. And then amplitude is the um, how strong the bounce is. So I'm going to turn it up to like 35.35 so you can see the difference. So that's that's crazy. <laughs> you don't really want to do that. But yeah, all you do is adjust these three numbers and turn it back down to 0.05. And then frequency is just the number of bounces. So let's turn this up to like 10. Yeah. Um, but yeah, around default, I usually keep stuff pretty close to where it was at originally in the expression so you don't have to do much with these to for it to look nice um that's pretty much it for the inertia bounce i'm gonna show you how to imply the inertia bounce with a um bounce back expression which is a little bit different but it's similar so let's go ahead and hop into this new comp so for this example i'm going to use a shape layer so i'm going to right click in this space and go to layer new shape layer and then i'm going to hit the drop down arrow and add an ellipse and a fill to that oops a fill to that ellipse and then make it white because i like white and then i'm going to scale it up to 200. okay so what we're going to do here is i'm going to animate this shape layer to fall down to the bottom of the screen and bounce back up and after it bounces, it, the ball is going to squeeze as if it's actually reacting to its bounce. So in order to do that, first, let's go ahead and keyframe our position. So I'm gonna do a keyframe there, go down to here and then keyframe down to the bottom. I'm just gonna do a rough estimate because I'm just showing you guys how the method is done. Um, so about there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my bounce back expression. So let's, let's play this first so you can see the difference. So it falls and not very interesting at all. So I'm actually gonna make this a little bit faster. So make that closer together. And then um, I'm gonna go to my resource here and copy this bounce back expression. So copy, alt click this stopwatch and then paste. Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see. And with this expression, the only two values that you need to change are the first two. So this first one, um, this E value will change the, well, let's play this first before I change anything. But yeah, this first value will affect the amount of the bounce. And then the second value is actually gravity. So you can kind of figure what that means. So that's all right. I'm going to turn this E value down to 0.4 and see what that looks like. And then let's try turning this up to like nine and see what that does. And it just keeps on bouncing. Um, so I'm gonna turn it back towards the default, which is 0.7. And then the gravity, I'll let you guys see the difference between that. So let's go down to like 2000. And so it's just gonna, it's just gonna float a little bit longer in the air. And then let's turn it up to like 7,000. 
so it's just lands hard like a like a heavy rock so all right i'm gonna go back to default here i think it's five thousand and then i'm going to add our inertia bounce to to the scale next so what's going to happen is it's going to hit here and that's bouncing back up the ball is going to be squeezing as if it's if it's actually reacting to its bounce so i'm going to go ahead and keyframe here and then i'm going to move over a couple frames i'm going to unchain the x and y scale and i'm going to turn this scale down to let's go down to like 120 all right so then so that's a keyframe there and then go back up to 200 on the y scale so let's play this first before i add the expression so you can see what what's happening so it's bouncing once but we needed that reaction to happen more times so that's what our expression is for so i'm gonna go back to our inertia bounce expression i actually have it saved in notepad so um, i don't have to have that page open every single time so let's go to my notepad inertia bounce and then copy alt click paste but i'm hitting Control v to paste um so let's play this through you know, I think I'm gonna move these keyframes a little bit closer together because I think it's happening too slow. So maybe like just one frame apart here. Yes, yeah, let's, let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna increase, increase the bounce a little bit, but yeah, you guys are getting the idea. Um, you basically just play with the numbers that I showed you and you can be really, really creative with expressions. You can apply you can apply these to absolutely any value that has a stopwatch on it. So it, like it'd be rotation, scale, positioning. So like when you're doing text animations, if you want that text to bounce or continually have motion in it, you can add expressions like these. Um, we'll dive deeper into these um, later on, but I thought I'd just get you guys started with expressions here. That's pretty much all I have for this one. So leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Comment if you have a suggestion for me. And subscribe if you really enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.